there, this is Justin Blanchard again from Vibrations Tackle and I have one of our pro staff members, Israel Dunn, with us today. And one of the things we'd like to talk about is uh, some of the, the proper equipment that we particularly like to use while jigging with the echo tails. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, uh, the, the prop, having the proper equipment can really help you catch more fish. And I'm a firm believer in having a good quality rod. And one in particular that I like is the St. Croix Avid rod. This is a new rod that came out this year. It's a carbon shaft. They've got a carbon handle in it. It's ultra, very sensitive, ultra sensitive. That really allows you to be able to feel the vibration from the echo tail. Um, as far as line goes, I like to use a braided line. It really allows you to feel, like I said, that vibration, even if you're getting down and jigging, you know, past that 15, 20 feet. Um, with that being said, I also like to attach the braided line to a fluorocarbon with a little bit longer leader. And what that does is it allows the lure, the, the it creates more of a stretch. A lot of times fish can detect a little resistance from that braid because it doesn't have the stretch in it, but by adding an extra long fluorocarbon leader, it gives that lure, that presentation, just a little more stretch. Um, and I do like to connect, if you can kind of see here, I like to connect the braid to the floral with a snap, with a barrel swivel. Um, so that's that's the basic setup. Israel, what any uh, any techniques you like to use? Uh, I pretty much set up my rods in the same way. Uh, Say Croix is always on top of what's going on in the ice fishing industry. So the new Premier rods, they've upgraded this last year to the new style handle. They're always the cork handles the last two years. Have the stainless guide so it holds up to the braided line well. Again, I like to use the swivel because these echo tails, they'll get to moving so fast underneath the water, they can actually untie a braided line. So they're really handy to have. I also like the up locking reel seat on these rods. These rods, the Premier, the Legend, and the Legend Ice all have this handle. And I like the St. Croix when I'm in 10 feet of water or less because it gives you the ability to keep one finger on that rod blank. So I can feel a lot of times on a rod without a spring bobber, I can feel that vibration and the bite coming through the rod blank before I ever see the end of the tip go down. So for me, that's a that's a big plus. Excellent, very cool. Well, I'm hoping to get out there after the fishing show here. It's Sunday, the Packers are playing at noon. We gotta pack up and I'm hoping that it's, it, it gets a little colder so we can get out yeah, maybe get out to the Madison chain or maybe some of the lakes out on uh, around the Oconomowoc area. A lot of good lakes around here too. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to get out soon. And uh, if you guys ever have any questions, um, always feel free to contact us direct. Check out our Facebook page, uh, our YouTube page. Um, our, our contact information is on our website at www.vibrationstackle.com and stay safe and good luck to you on the water this year.